everyone to celebrate my 200th video on YouTube. It's quite a milestone for me. I'm going to do the 50 facts about me tag and share with you some stories about my life. So hopefully you guys can get to know me a little bit better. And to thank you all for sticking with me for the past few years, there will be a giveaway at the end of the video. So stick around for that as well. Let's get started. I am Chinese. I was born in Beijing and both my parents are Chinese as well. But Somehow, people think I'm Japanese. Maybe it's the haircut? <laughs> I came to Australia when I was 9 years old. I'm 5 foot 3, which is 160 centimeters. Um, both my parents are taller than me, so I don't know what happened there. <laughs> my voice sounds really young over the phone. So whenever like marketing people call the house and I pick up, I usually get something like, Can I please speak to your mommy? And I would just hang up on them. I'm a vegetarian and I've been one since I was 11 years old. I like to do things fast and efficiently. So if I can carry the groceries from my car into the house in one load, then I wouldn't do it the second time. So I'd rather do like an overloaded one trip than a comfortable two trip. And that applies to everything that I do. My favorite color is purple, but I wear a lot of greens. Because I'm a vegetarian, whenever I go to like functions or weddings, when like all the food comes out, um, everybody's got like the same dish except for me. <laughs> and people will like look at me and say, why is yours different? And I always reply to them, because I'm special. I work more efficiently after midnight when everyone's asleep and everything's quiet. I feel like my mind is the clearest at that time and I get so much more work done. But I know it's really bad for my health. And because I sleep late, I get up late as well, but I don't sleep any more than anybody else. I still get my eight hours of sleep, but I just do it at different times. So I tell people that I live in a different time zone. <laughs> I've managed to not get chicken box until I was 22. Every time they had an outbreak in school, I wasn't there. But it finally caught up to me when I was 22 and I actually got it for my mom because she had hers when she was young but then it resurfaced at a later age so that's how I got it and I got it before I went on to holidays to Hong Kong so she gave it to me I had the two weeks incubation period I went on the plane and as soon as I landed I was in the hospital so I was in Hong Kong for a whole week yeah, whole week and I was sick <laughs> and I was naughty and I scratched my face and I ended up with a scar on my face which I've covered it up with concealer I am comfort over beauty any day but if I can do beauty with comfort then is that better? when I was a baby my parents shaved my head and my eyebrows so they could grow back thicker so I was a bold and hairless baby girl before they grow back. I can't wear high heels but I can wear wedges. I like bright and quiet places so nightclubs and bars are not my thing. I can't see what they look like and I can't hear what they're saying. I love traveling but I hate, hate plane rides. I can never sleep on the plane because I'm a really really light sleeper. I can't sleep with lights on, I can't sleep with noises, and I can't sleep sitting up. So plane rides really screws me up. <laughs> I'm really anal about saving my documents. So you know whenever I'm on Word or Excel or anything that you're doing, you know, when you're doing a project on the computer, I always make sure to save it like every five seconds. Like every five seconds even if I haven't touched a computer like if I haven't written any more in that five seconds I'll still press it because like I just I hate losing work other than doing YouTube videos I have three other jobs I have my Nala Supplies website which I manage and I work in a Chinese bookshop talking to customers and finding books help me maintain my Chinese literacy and my third job is a TV extra. So I've been in a few movies and commercials in the past. 
um, if you're interested in seeing them, I found them online. I found some of them online, so um, I'll put a link below so you guys can check it out if, you're, if you want. <laughs> I can play the keyboard or the piano with one hand only, my right hand, because the teacher who taught our class ran away with our school fees after three weeks. And that was when we were supposed to learn how to play with our left hand. So. That's why this was back in China and I think I was about 5 years old. I am fluent in Chinese Mandarin. I can read about 70% of the characters but I've forgotten how to write. So I can write my name and maybe like basic characters um, but 95% of the Chinese characters I've forgotten how to write anymore. But I... Because I can recognize 70% of them, I can still type it out on the computer using the Chinese alphabet, um, which is called Pinyin. So I can still write emails and stuff and you know have conversations that way, but I just can't write it by hand anymore because I've forgotten. <laughs> too many strokes, too complicated, you know. I was an extra in the movie with Nicolas Cage called The Knowing. That was filmed in Melbourne and you can find me in the petrol station scene. <laughs> After I have a shower, I always like end up sitting on top of the bathtub with my robes on and my mind would just like wanders off and when it comes back, I've lost about like 10 minutes of my life. When I'm thinking, I like to like smell my hair. I don't know why, like maybe it helps me think. <laughs> I have two different sized thumbs and I've shown them in my nail art videos before and I get a lot of comments asking me why they're so short. Nobody's ever teased me about it my whole life until I started YouTube. I've always thought it was funny that they were different so I would like show it to people to amuse them. Um, I even gave them like nicknames. Uh, I called them the twins from the movie um, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie with um, Anna Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito because they're twins, you know, <laughs> in the movie. I don't really care about what people think of them. They're my thumbs and they work fine. But I did Google them and found out that it's actually genetics. So I'm not the only one who has them. I think probably the most famous one is Megan Fox. So if you're like me, we're in the same category as Megan Fox. When I was a kid, I got lost three times in, I think, parks and carnivals, like those kind of things. Because I like to explore and I would like go into bushes and come out on the other side and lose my parents. And all three times, they had to announce it in the park speakers to let my parents know that they can come and claim me from lost and found. I was swallowed by a huge wave on the beach while I was a kid. And for the longest time, I thought it was just a dream. And once I told my mom about it, and she said it actually happened. I remember this huge wave just went over me, and I did like a whole somersault and everything. And I remember like choking from the water. I don't like people who make excuses to justify their wrongdoing. I think if you did something wrong, you should just own up to it. You know, learn from your mistakes so you don't do it again. Excuses are for people who don't want to change because in their mind they don't think it's their fault and I don't like people like that. I do however like people who are considerate and kind. I used to play the violin when I was in China. Um, I learned that for a couple of years before I came to Australia. I started with like the junior sized one and I've moved up to the standard sized violin. That teacher didn't run away with my school fees. I like taking shortcuts. I think that's a skill in itself. If you can find a faster and more efficient way of doing things, you know, it saves you a lot of time and effort. I am a procrastinator. Even though I like to do things fast and efficient, sometimes I have trouble starting things. I am slow to catch on to things, but when I do, I catch up quick. When I went to uni, I chopped off my hair about this short and I maintained it all throughout uni and as soon as I finished I started growing them out. It's just, it's so hard to maintain short hair, like just have to keep chopping them off and 
every time I go to the hairdressers, like the same hairdresser, I come out with a different haircut. Like I tell them the same thing every time and I come out with a different haircut. I'm allergic to sugar. I think I'm allergic to sugar. Like for the longest time, like I couldn't eat chocolate. Um, I would just get this like rash that like just start from one side of my hair arm and all the way to the other side but I overcame that by eating a little bit of chocolate like periodically and eventually I got over it so now I can eat chocolate but just not too much if I eat too much I still get like a rash you know going on right here <laughs> and I wasn't allergic to chocolates before it's just like a one period of my life I couldn't eat chocolate my favorite vegetables are eggplant and cauliflower, mainly because my mom cooks them exactly the way I like them. My secret ingredient to anything that doesn't taste nice is to add tomato sauce. To me, everything tastes better with tomato sauce. I used to hate avocados when I was a kid, but now I love them. Growing up, I had had a rabbit, a chicken, two kittens, and a turtle as pets. I had them all in different period of my life. I don't have any pets right now, but the neighbor's cat keeps coming over to our backyard. In my old house, the neighbor's chicken would come over to our side of the fence and lay their eggs in our bush because we were lazy and the grass was like up to our knees. <laughs> my favorite smartphone game is called Triple Tail, which I've actually already made a nail art design on it already. I used to be scared of heights. Um, I remember this one time where I went to the pool and I climbed all the way up to the 5 meter diving pool and I was like so scared. Um, like, you know, I just felt like everything was just moving and it was just, I felt dizzy. And, but I like, I managed to like crawl my way all the way to the edge <laughs> and it was like looking down the pool like that. <laughs> But um, I couldn't do it. But I remember I actually went back up again, um, and then I just like closed my eyes and I jumped, and that was how I cured my phobia of heights. I studied Japanese for three years in uni, but I've managed to forget most of it because I never used them. I was debating like whether to do Chinese or Japanese. Um, but since I, you know, I can speak Chinese, but I can't write Chinese, it just wouldn't be fair to put me any level because I wouldn't belong in the beginners because I can speak it, but I also wouldn't belong to the advanced because I can't write it. So I just went, hmm, maybe I can do Japanese. I can bend my fingers like that. Is that called double jointed? I've always enjoyed art classes in school, like ceramics, textile, woodwork, metalwork. I've made like all kinds of stuff when I was in school, uh, but I never like really thought that I could make a career out of them. So I actually studied business at uni, but after I graduated, I came all the way back to doing art on YouTube, doing nail art. I am an introvert. I like my quiet times to recharge. I change my sleeping directions uh, like every six months or so. Like every time I can't sleep, I will throw my pillow to the other side of the bed and then I will sleep on that side from then on until I can't sleep again and then I will throw my pillows back <laughs> to the original side and then I will sleep in that direction until I can't anymore and the good thing about sleeping on the normal side with the back is that you know you can lean against the wall or your bed post and you know sit up um, but when you're on the other side the good thing about that is that you can stretch while laying down because there's nothing stopping you you can just go oh <laughs> good morning growing up I was a tomboy I hardly ever wore skirts or dresses, I prefer to wear pants and shorts because I find that I can do more activities wearing them. If I go to amusement parks or carnivals, I can never do those like rides where 
you go round and round or you know you go back and forth like it's the same movement because once um, I went on to I think the pirate one the pirate the one that goes like that and the um, the person with the control wouldn't let us down for like three turns so we were up there forever like everybody wanted to come off because everybody was feeling sick already and they wouldn't let us down because there wasn't enough people lining up for the rides and they wanted us to you know be up there to advertise for them and we were like oh my god like everybody was like <laughs> when we came off and I was like never again <laughs> So I can do like roller coasters, there are Mad Mouse and all the other ones. They're fine. Even like the sudden drops, I can do those ones. Just not the back and forth and around and around ones. You know, that one makes me sick. In my tomboy years, I never cried. Like I would go years without crying. But now, I cry about everything. Like I cry when I'm movie is sad, I cry when I see scenes of triumph even news when they have like bad news about like natural disasters or you know killing sprees I'll cry about that if somebody wronged me or if I remember a sad story like I'll cry about that like even even when I chop onions like I'll cry like now but I didn't I didn't chop onions before so pretty much I've turned into a girl I enjoy more of the creative side of coming up with a nail design, doing my videos every week, um, more than actually, you know, getting my nails done to make them look pretty and fashionable. But I still do enjoy like looking at my nails after I've done them. And there you go, folks. That's 50 facts about me. I hope you enjoy that little insight into my life. And now I guess you know which button to push to piss me off or what you have to do to get onto my good side. If you have any interesting facts to share with me, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to read about them. I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up, share it and add it to your favorite playlist. Anyways, let's get on to the giveaway details. 